Hello everyone, it's Camille, and let's do your Pilates lower body work. So let's start by laying sideways on your mat. Try to find the back end of your mat, align yourself with that end, and then bring your hand behind your head. You want your elbow, your shoulders, your hips in line, and then your legs to the front corner of your mat, you know, at least in the diagonal in front of you that you can see your toes. If this is too much for your neck, you can always rest your head down at any moment or bring it back up, all right? So from here, for your side kicks, your hand in front of your chest for stability. Let's lift the top leg. Reach it long out of your waist and pull your abs in away from that leg. So let's kick forward. Kick and kick and then reach the leg back, lengthen it and point the toes. Let's go again, forward, one and two and reach it back. So the idea is to keep your abs super tight so your body doesn't rock or sway back and forth. And again, kick, kick, use your core and lengthen. Back, again, one and two and reach, long leg, one and two, and reach, last one like that, and go kick, kick, bring it back to the center, reach that leg again, really long, you wanna bring it in, reach it back out. So again, play it with the hip, and then reach it out, again, and in, keep it out, and let's lift the leg up with control, small lift, and then point your toes and lower. Again, flex to lift, and point to lower. So engage your outer thigh and pull with your inner thigh. Reverse that, point to go up, flex it to go down. Again, point to left, flex it to lower. One more time, let's lift it and flex it. Now hold it about hip level, reach it a little further in five little pulses. Up for five, four, three, two, one, and let's circle the leg around. Not too big, not too small. Make sure it goes down, up, and back. Finish the back of your circle eight times here. We got three more and two and one and then reverse it. And we're going up for eight and seven and really reach it out of the hip. And remember to pull your abs back and away. One, let's lengthen it, hold it. From here, rotate out, keeping the hips stacked and then back to parallel. Again, rotate out and back. Keep it turned out, point your toes, lift the leg up and lower, so it's a big kick wherever it can go, up and lower. On the next one, lift the leg, hold the leg lifted, bend your knee and set it right in front. Let's hold on under that ankle, lift the bottom leg up. Let's work that inner thigh. So make sure you rotate the heel up, the toes down, and then lift that bottom leg up, up, and then lower a little. Again, up, up, and lower. Let's do two more like that, up, up, and lower. One more time, up, up. Lower and let's circle the leg around for five. Lead with the heel and of course your inner thigh for two more. One, and let's reverse it all around. Keep pulling that navel back. Keep pushing your knee away, that top leg. Hold it at the top in five little pulses. Up for five, four, three, two, one. And gently lengthen it and all the way down. So lengthen here to wrap things up. Let's go into bicycle today. So let's reach the leg forward. Bend the knee, knee comes to the other knee, knee reaches back and goes back. Again, go forward, bend, reach it back all the way. One more time, up, bend it. Knee goes back, reach out, let's reverse that. So heel to the buttocks, knee to the chest and all the way up. Again, reach it long and away, sway in, up. Use your core to lift the leg higher. Last time, it goes back and in and all the way up and bring your legs together. Let's gently take a seat and let's switch sides. Same thing, align yourself with the back end of your mat. Legs to the front corner of your mat, hands behind your head, hand in front of your chest. Press it here, either with the heel of the hand or your fingertips. Lift the top leg into your forward and back kick. So go kick, kick, and then lengthen it back. Do it again, and one, two, and reach it. If you have any ankle weights at home, two, three pounds, you can always use those for this. And then back. And again, go one and two and reach up. Let's do two more like that. Keep pulling your abs so your hips stay stacked and you don't move that upper body. Bring it back to the center, reach your leg a little longer and then pull it back. Again, reach it out and bring it back in. This time reach it out, lengthen it and let's lift it with control, point and lower back down. Again, always making it longer and engage that inner thigh and that outer thigh and point. Let's reverse that, point to go up, flex it to lower. Keep pulling the abs in. Again, lift it and lower, last time up. 
lower down to about hip level and let's circle the leg all around and all around. Press it back, pull the abs and reach it back. Keep the body very steady and then reverse it all around. Long the leg, two more. Come back to the center and again, reach it out of your hip. Wanna create some length here. Rotate out and back to parallel. Again, rotate and back. This time, keep it turned out and three kicks. We go up for three and two, just let it fly. And one, let's bring the leg up, hold it up, bend your knee, set it down on the mat, press it. Lifting the bottom leg, heel up, toes down, leading with the inner thigh up, up, and lower a little. Again, lift, lift, and lower. Keep pulling your navel back and lower. Let's keep it lifted and circle around five, four, little tiny circles. Press through the heel and reverse it. Up and around, up and around for three and two and one. Lift it up a little higher and last five pulses. Three, two, one, and then gently lower it down. Top leg, bicycle that top leg. So bring the leg gently out and forward. Bend the knee, knee comes to the other knee, knee reaches back and extend it. Go again forward, abs in deep, bend, Reach, grow out of your waist so that leg can lengthen behind you. Again, up and in and reach it. Let's reverse it. Heel to the buttocks, knee to the chest. High up that leg, up and bring it back. Heel, abs in, reach, long neck. Last one, up. Bring both legs together and carefully lift. And that wraps it up. After a long day, finding motivation for the gym isn't easy. Hey, Jess, wanna come to the gym? I need it. Find your inspiration again, and ready, set, wonder size. Wonder size Studio helps you find your gym buddies while sweating it out remotely. Anyone can join, watch, challenge, and socialize. Our live motion matching technology will always have your back, guiding you to engage your core when it's needed most. With Wondersize's new video chat feature, receive tailored advice from your trainer or share your personalized tips directly with your students. Let your competitive edge shine by climbing our leaderboards and reaching the top. Nice one, Jess. With all the familiar features of your favorite apps, add a new friend, drop a follow, or even send a message. Keep track of your workout score and monitor your heart rate. Wondersize is a seamless fit for trainers who want to put their skills to use and a must for people looking for fitness guidance, motivation, and interaction. You can connect with anyone, anytime, anywhere. Hold a conversation while holding a plank. Impressive. It's more than just a fitness app. It's your fitness network. Wondersize, find your perfect fit. Download the free app today.